Most e-commerce brands don't know the correct techniques needed to truly scale their brand with Google Ads. And it goes far beyond just increasing or decreasing uh -huh. budgets and bids. So in this video, I want to give you a few advanced Google ad scaling strategies, which you can use right now to scale your brand aggressively to the next level. Now, just uh -huh. a disclaimer, no amount of advanced techniques can truly save a bad e-commerce brand or truly save a weak foundation. So your first goal before even diving deep into these advanced scaling strategies is to take a look back at your foundation, make sure it can support this scale. Because I always say this, if your foundation is weak, no matter how much money you're spending, if it's $10 a day or $10 million a day, your brand is always going to struggle, period. But with that, Technique number one, this is the bundled up approach for Google Ads. Now, I'm going to pull up a brand which we're working with right now, which is a perfect example of this. This is a sock brand which we are recently started working with. And so far, it's doing better and better every single week. This can be applied to your brand regardless of whether you sell socks, baby diapers, jackets, whatever you want to sell you want to take this approach. If we look right here, we can see, first of all, on one single product page, they have distinction between men and women, but that's not all. Instead of selling one pair of socks individually, what they are doing is they're adding multiple different pairs, three different pairs per sale, essentially. But not just that, you get to choose different sizing and you get to choose between three pairs each time. So you can get three pairs, you can get a discount if you get six pairs, or you can get a bigger discount if you get nine pairs. And this is exactly how the bundled up approach works. Now, the main reason why this is such a powerful approach is because every single one of these variations, if you were to choose men, multicolor, small, three pairs, that's one specific variation which can now show up on the Google Shopping ad side of things. But if this is the black pair instead, this is variation number two. If it's the size large, this is variation number three, so on and so forth. Each one of these pairs and bundles leads to its own variations, which when you go on Google, for example, and when you type in athletic socks now the main goal becomes instead of ranking one time for just one of your pairs you're taking up multiple pieces of the pie ranking for multiple of the different placements so as a result doesn't matter if somebody goes on this product page or this page first of all they're gonna only end up on this same product page but second you are getting a larger portion of the market share which is the ultimate goal with Google Shopping. This is a very advanced technique because many brands just forget about this and some of the brands they don't even know how to do this properly. For example, if you're selling baby diapers, maybe you don't even have to sell multiple diapers as a set. Maybe you could sell a baby di diaper and a baby pacifier as a complementary product, but that's bundled up. And this is kind of the first technique because not only does it give you more variations to rank for, but it get increases the chances of you showing up for multiple of these shopping placements, which in turn, can help your brand truly scale and the main things we have noticed once we started implementing this across this brand is number one it helped improve the conversion rates tremendously because let's say somebody came in they were kind of lukewarm about the color black but then they see the white color and now they're like yes i want this product then they're gonna purchase right off the bat there they don't have to go back and look at these other listings there the best approach in terms of the google ad strategy side of things once you have this bundled approach is to take the one cold traffic campaign approach with smart bidding this could be performance max with all of these product types could be standard shopping as long as it's smart bidding this can work really well and what you want to do is instead of choosing and nitpicking which variation you want to put inside this individual performance max or standard shopping campaign you just put all of these together and then you let the algorithm do its thing and find you the winning kind of variations which is exactly what we did here to scale to the next level but that now brings us to technique number two this is the youtube based scaling approach now the strategy here when it comes to youtube right off the bat is fairly simple we always go the one 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 approach where there's one campaign and within that one campaign there may be one creative and within that one creative there's only one advertising that's it it's that simple but now the main reason why this is an advanced technique is first of all you need to be testing multiple different audiences to really understand 
which audience works best for your brand because for the brand right here we test on any given time anywhere between 10 to 30 different creatives but at the same time we're testing different audiences as well so it's a bit more advanced you need to first find one winning creative you could find it from maybe facebook ads tiktok ads wherever you find it then bring it on to google ads and then start by testing that creative across multiple different placements but youtube ads they can die off very quickly they can go fast and scale fast just like with facebook but unfortunately they do also end up dying up very very quickly so if you want to have 10 to 30 different creatives you're testing a week which was what makes this advanced but at the same time you need to have a youtube retargeting campaign running along the side to get any potential lost sales you don't want to just rely on the cold traffic youtube campaigns because that can lead to a lot of wasted budgets and a lot of wasted money but now this brings us to technique number three which is an advanced technique it's called the location based segmentation and this is something which ideally you only want to be doing once you have a significant amount of data otherwise it can become very very confusing very quickly so the way it works is fairly simple essentially after you've spent 10 to fifty thousand dollars on a single campaign with google ads whether it's a shopping campaign search campaigns besides the points you need to go into that actual campaign and you can do this within performance max as well but you need to decipher into the actual locations and you can do this by region states counties whatever you want to do it by the main goal is to understand which states are doing well versus which states are not doing well for example referring back to one of the clients we work with under my agency euro marketing which by the way if you run a brand doing a million dollars a year or more and you want to scale to even bigger levels multi seven figures with google ads go on my website at euromarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see how we can essentially work together and make that happen but what we did for one of the brands we were working with i still remember it was a furniture brand we scaled the brand by dividing the east coast campaigns versus the west coast campaigns and we just did this because we noticed consistently east coast campaigns which were closer to this brand which was based in new jersey they were performing well whereas the west coast ones they weren't really performing as well or there was some kind of hindrance which stopped the users from really purchasing from this brand so we applied a completely different strategy for the west coast states we applied a lower bidding strategy a lesser budget and that ended up working wonders for the west coast but we were able to preserve profits and the revenue by going very heavy on the east coast that's just one example this campaign right here even with fifty four thousand dollars spent there's north dakota which barely spent thirty six dollars so that's clearly not enough data to make any decision for North Dakota. Even like, for example, West Virginia it only spent $92. It already has an 8x ROI. So these are the things you want to be testing because some states can be very good or some states can be mediocre like these ones right here. But that's essentially the third advanced scaling strategy. And finally, this brings us to the fourth scaling strategy, which is the performance max experiment section. And this I like to call as a scaling strategy because there's a lot of different things you can do here to truly scale your brand. For example, you could be hosting certain performance max experiments demand gen experience video text ads custom app uplift so on and so forth and this is what you want to be doing for example the main ones we kind of go after is testing uplift of the performance max and testing versus a standard shopping campaign because Keep in mind, your PMAX can work very differently compared to a standard shopping campaign that's running on smart bidding. Some brands just do well with Performance Max. Other brands just crush it with standard shopping. And you won't really know it unless you apply this advanced scaling strategy. But those are the kind of the four main advanced Google Ads techniques we're using to scale brands right now in 2024 and onwards. Which again, if your brand does a million dollars or more per year, you want to scale to multi seven figures with Google Ads, go on to my website at yourmarketing.com and schedule a free call with me to see how we can essentially work together and make that happen but check out this video right here on the newest case study i did of a brand which we scaled to multi seven figures following these advanced scaling strategies